After a few days off to rejuvenate over the bye, the Suns hit the training track once again this week to prepare for one of the hardest road trips in the AFL against the reigning Premier's Hawthorne at Aurora Stadium. We're sort of obviously not underestimating the challenge we've got ahead of us, but uh, now we entered the bye with a bit of confidence, albeit that we lost the game, but um, obviously you know, a fair bit of improvement with the numbers we had back, so uh, we can head down there with a bit of confidence as well. Ede has given his men a clear message for the game, attack the contest. I think it starts on the track, definitely every week starts on the track, so um, we'll identify what areas of the game we think we need to work on um, and we can beat Hawks at this week, so we'll go out there and train, train that aspect of the things, probably all the contested side of things, tackling, um, hardball gets and stuff like that, so um, and yeah, just making sure everyone's on the same page mentally and ready to go first bounce. We've got the group back together, we've got a um, number of guys back from injuries and we're really looking forward to attacking the second half of the season, it starts with Hawthorne on Sunday. Adam Saad is currently leading the AFL for running bounces so far this season and is a welcome inclusion for this week's lineup. Aaron Hall will also be making the trip south after satisfying the match committee. He's once again ready for senior football. Uh, apart from playing well, um, uh, which we didn't, which we said wasn't the main criteria, but it was the areas that we spoke to him about. There was two or three areas, um, and the feedback uh, from all the development coaches as well as having a look on tape was was extremely pleasing. Head to goldcoastfc.com.au for all the latest news and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat to keep up to date on everything from Metricon Stadium.